Hello friends, any number that can be expressed as ratio of two integers p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 is a rational number. We learned this in our previous lessons. So 4 by 5, 4 by 15 are rational numbers because they are already in the fraction form. And fractions can be expressed as decimal numbers because when 4 is divided by 5 we get 0 0.8. But what about 4 by 15? Let us divide 4 by 15. See the division on the side. Wait, we get quotient as 0 0.266666. It goes on and on. It is recurring, non-terminating decimal. So what is the difference between 4 by 5 and 4 by 15? In 4 by 5 we are getting terminating decimal number and 4 by 15 we are getting recurring non-terminating decimal. If we study decimals we will we get a simple form like 0 0.275 can be written as 275 by 1000 by removing the decimal point which is equal to 275 by 10 to the power 3 and 0 0.15 can be written as 15 by 100 which is equal to 15 by 10 to the power 2. So now while converting decimal to fraction form we cancel the common factors so 275 by 1000 becomes 11 by 40 so the denominator 40 can be written as 8 into 5 or 2 to the power 3 into 5 right so 0 0.275 is equal to 11 by 2 to the power 3 into 5 same way 0 0.104 is equal to 104 by 1000 which is equal to 13 by 125 and the denominator 125 can be written as 5 cube or 2 to the power 0 into 5 cube because 2 to the power 0 is 1. So notice a simple pattern when we convert terminating decimal numbers like 0 0.275, 0 0.104 into fraction form the prime factorization of denominator q is of the form 2 to the power n into 5 to the power m where n and m are non-negative integers that is the exponent n and m can be 0 1 2 3 and so on so let us do the same for 4 by 5 and 4 by 15 and try to find the difference 4 by 5 here the denominator 5 can be written as 1 into 5 which is equal to 2 to the power 0 into 5 because 2 to the power 0 is 1. So it is of the form 2 to the power n into 5 to the power m. So the result of 4 by 5 will be a terminating decimal number like 0 0.8. And 4 by 15 here the denominator 15 can be written as 3 into 5 product of prime factors but it is not of the form 2 to the power n into 5 to the power m. So the result of 4 by 15 will be a non-terminating recurring decimal number. That is 0 0.266666 and so on that we got. Take any rational number whose decimal expansion is non-terminating and recurring. You will find that prime factorization of its q part is not in the form of 2 to the power n into 5 to the power m q part means the denominator like 10 by 7, 1 by 3, 11 by 9 etc. Here the denominator cannot be expressed in form 2 to the power n into 5 to the power m where n and m are non-negative integers. So we can safely say x equal to p by q is a rational number such that the prime factorization of the denominator q is of the form 2 to the power n into 5 to the power m where n and m are non-negative integers then this ratio x can be expressed as decimal number which terminates like 4 by 5, 1 by 8, 1 by 10 and so on and if prime factorization of denominator q is not in the form of 2 to the power n into 5 to the power m, 
then converting fraction to decimal will give us a decimal number that would be non-terminating and re recurring like 4 by 15, 10 by 7, 1 by 3, 11 by 9 and so on. That is just by looking at the denominator Q and doing the prime factorization of it we can find out whether a fraction's decimal form will terminate or not. And what if the decimal is non-terminating and non-repeating? In that case, it cannot be expressed as ratio of two integers at the first place, right? Because it's an irrational number, like square root of two. It's 1.414213 and so on. It's non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. It cannot be expressed as p by q because it is an irrational number. So that's all for now. Bye-bye.